Hi everybody, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll see CI/CD using Git, Jenkins, Ansible, and Docker. We're going to implement something like this. Developer will commit his changes to Git. That triggers Jenkins pipeline job. It's going to build using Maven and it's going to build Docker image. Upload Docker image to Docker Hub. Using Ansible playbook, deploy Docker container onto a development server. For implementing this demonstration, we have Jenkins and a dev server. We're going to execute Jenkins pipeline job here, which is going to deploy Docker container onto dev server. Let's open our Jenkins. Let's log into it. First, let's make sure we have all necessary tools are installed on Jenkins machine. Let's copy Jenkins public IP. Let's do SSH into that. Let's check Git. Git is there. We do need Maven. I installed Maven from Jenkins UI. Let's go to Manage Jenkins. Global Tool Configuration. Let's scroll down and check Maven installations. Maven is automatically installed from Jenkins UI. Now we need Ansible because from Jenkins, we're going to execute Ansible playbook for deploying containers onto dev server. We are using Amazon Linux machine, so it's not directly available under EM. It's giving some suggestions. Let's pick up this command. Execute that. So that's going to install Ansible for us. Ansible is successfully installed. Let's check its version. Yeah. I want this executable location a slash USR bin Ansible because I'm going to install Ansible plugin in Jenkins. There, I need to provide this executable location. So back to global tool configuration. Uh, right, so we need to have the configuration for Ansible. I need to install a plugin for that. Let's again go to manage Jenkins manage plugins and install Ansible. Click on available. Select Ansible. Click install without restart. Ansible got installed. Let's go back. Manage Jenkins. Global tool configuration. So we need to Yes, Ansible installations, add, let's give a name and path to Ansible executable directory. We should not include command in the path. We should only provide the folder where that executable is present. So this could be any meaningful name. Save it. So I want to take this project, it's Java and Maven based. I need to build a war file first. 
after building war file, I'm going to build Docker image. So in that image, I'm taking Tomcat as a base image and the war file which was built in previous step is added to this image under Tomcat web apps location. So let's go ahead and click new item. I want to use pipeline project. So general section, build triggers and other options. So for now to develop this code, let's use it in line. After completion of our demonstration, I'm going to keep this script inside this project. I mean git repository. You guys can refer from there. I want to use declarative pipeline. Let me say agent any. So I want to do git clone. Let's go to pipeline syntax. Choose git. Provide a repository URL, the branch, and also the credentials for uh, cloning repository from GitHub. So click on add Jenkins. So choose username with password. Username is Java Home Tech. The password ID description add. Select that. Generate pipeline script. Copy the code. Put it there. So if you want better readability, we can organize the code in multi-line. I want to add one more step for Maven build. So new stage added steps. Maven command to clean existing output and freshly create a new package by compiling our code. So let's test this before proceeding further. something got wrong maven command not found okay i know how to fix this one so what we have to do is uh, maven is not in the path but it's installed through jenkins it's not in the path what we should do is go to jenkins pipeline syntax a declarative directive generator uh, tools choose the tool maven and the name we given so under Jenkins configuration generate take this piece of code come back so under agent paste it so here what happens because of this block maven will be added to the path so that it won't comply maven command not found so save this build and this time it should definitely work it's working now nice build got succeeded and Yes, it's building the wall. The next stage is to create Docker image. Let's go to configuration.
let's copy paste docker build docker build iphone t so i want to build docker image and upload it to docker hub we need to tag docker image accordingly so that i can push my docker image to docker hub so it must have a prefix of uh, docker hub id my docker hub id is kamana followed by your image name and colon version so usually it could be zero zero i mean usually it could be 0 0.01 whatever versioning convention you guys are following but this version should not be static i need to generate this version dynamically so for that uh, i want to introduce a utility method this function returns back latest commit id in the short form that we're going to use for tagging our docker image let's scroll down get version so let's find out a git command to pick up latest commit id this one this is a command which is going to return the latest commit in short form so let's take this command and let's use that commit hash id which is in short form for tagging our docker image when i execute this command it returns back a value to standard output i want that output to be captured in our uh, jenkins pipeline variable so pipeline syntax uh, snippet generator yes h fine the script I'm sorry yeah so go to advanced see written standard output so select this so that I can store written value in a variable copy fine store it in a variable so written that commit hash so let me call this and let me store this value globally so that I can use it in multiple stages so I want to use uh, environment block let's go back to uh, declarative generator uh, go to environment block fine add name docker tag for example value I'm calling the function let's take it so let me try this first of all save and do a build okay this is different story so docker command not found we need to install docker on our uh, jenkins machine I am on Jenkins mission. I 
I am installing Docker. I have installed Docker using sudo, but I want Docker commands to be executed from Jenkins user. For that, I need to execute following commands. I'm adding Jenkins user to Docker group so that Jenkins user can directly call Docker commands without using sudo. So we need to restart Jenkins for this command to pick up. Let's make sure Docker auto starts when Jenkins server reboots. Let's start Docker service. It's restarted, correct? Let's refresh. It has to prompt us for username and password. Username and password, click sign in. Plus, uh, let's make sure Docker uh, build command is correct. Right, so we missed dot, yeah, docker build, iPhone T stands for tagging. I want to push it to docker hub account. So my account ID as a prefix, application name, and this tag, uh, I want to dynamically pick, right? So let's pick up this one and use it here. followed by dot, which is our Docker uh, context. Save, build. Let's open the console. We got one more issue. I faced this issue before. See, but we're able to pick the latest commit ID for tagging Docker image, that's working fine, but we are getting issue in some other place. I know this issue, I faced this issue several times. Let's fix that one. So, usually we use dot in the end, but in Jenkins, I think this is a bug. Let's take dot from there, put it after build. Save it and run the build. Yes, now it's working fine. Good, it's success. Next step, I want to upload my Docker image to Docker Hub. Let's go to configure. Go to pipeline, let's copy paste, so docker push docker hub id slash uh, image name followed by the version. I can't do this directly. So first of all, I need to log in to my Docker Hub account. For logging into Docker Hub account, the command is docker login-u 
hyphen p the password so after this command we have access to docker hub and we can push this image I don't want to keep password as a plain text here I want to store password in Jenkins credentials pull from there use it here snippet generator you'll find with credentials with credentials it's going to bind credentials to a variable so let's add I want to keep only my password so let's choose secret text add Jenkins secret text my docker hub password fine add docker hub right so the variable name of our choice so give any uh, descriptive variable name followed by generate pipeline script let's pick this code let's put it here let's run docker login command so as per this description it's going to bring our fetch docker hub password and assign that to this variable so here instead of hard coding it let's use expression we are done right so that way we are securely managing passwords we're not exposing them as a plain text here let's save this let's build and make sure it's working right even docker push is success our next step is to write ansible playbook for deploying docker container into dev server let's go and refer ansible documentation for ansible docker container that's ansible module for creating containers let's go to examples name module name name of the container image if you want to run any command in the beginning that command state let me prepare ansible playbook in the background see i'm writing a playbook i want to run that playbook on this group i will configure this group in inventory which i will show later become true because i want to install some packages i need to have sudo access so first I'm installing pip because the module we're going to use docker container module depends on docker py python module let's make sure pip is installed using pip we're installing docker py I am done writing ansible playbook if something goes wrong I will fix that at runtime for uh, creating docker container I'm using docker container module name of the container image it should use state I'm saying it should be started and published port nothing but the port mapping commit commit the file now let's write inventory file let's add file create new file so as per convention I'm calling it dev.inv so because we used a group name in playbook group name is dev so there let me put the private IP address the IP address of dev server 
and the username for SSH. So password SSH key. Otherwise, I'll be passing uh, through my Jenkins pipeline code. Commit this file. We have uh, Ansible playbook, deploy Docker YAML file. We have inventory file. The next step is to uh, use Ansible plugin. Right, so Ansible playbook plugin. So Ansible tool, that's the tool we configured. Playbook file path in workspace. Deploy, let's copy that. And the inventory file path, it's also in same location. Dev.inv. So SSH connection credentials. For connecting to dev server, I'm using hurry pem file. Let me configure same. So um, let's add Jenkins. It is SSH username with private key. ID dev server description dev server username ect user and private key so for connecting to this i have this private key on my laptop so go to downloads this guy so right click let's open that using some editor and let's copy the content close it so come back select enter directly click add paste it and say add again so we wanna use that here we don't have any wall credentials we don't want to use become option there and make sure this is checked otherwise it's going to prompt us in the background and it can't uh, respond to that prompt generate And we also need to pass one extra argument, nothing but the variable at command prompt. I mean, this guy. Uh, okay, let me show that. Let's open that playbook. It's expecting this variable at command line. So, fine, cool. So I will uh, complete this logic after getting the syntax. So copy that. Let's go to configure. Pipeline. Okay. So let me have it here for a while. Let's copy paste it. I mean, I want to create one more stage. Deploy. All right, so here I want to pass this guy, correct? So let me use interpolation dollar or I'll do one thing. Let 
let's do this. Fine, so I'm using uh, interpolation. So it value is dynamically picked and passed it as a uh, variable to our playbook. Let's save, let's build and see what happens. Something went wrong. It says unrecognized arguments all right i troubleshooted in the background and i fixed it here just keep double quotes and don't have any uh, single quotes in between and hyphen e which is a direct ansible command option for passing arguments variable name and its value fine let's go back and uh, run it Okay, I fixed variable arguments issue, but we got into some other problem. Let me show that. Yeah, it's connecting to dev server. It's able to execute things. So while starting the container, it says error while fetching server API version. The problem is docker not installed on dev server. Let's install it using Ansible playbook. Okay. I added this block of code. Install docker using yum, package name and the state. I need to add one more task for starting docker daemon. Alright. Uh, starting docker daemon using service module, name of the service, the state, it should be started and enabled yes, which is going to make a, a Docker service to auto start whenever our dev server reboots. So, okay, let's go back and build. Let's wait and see what happens. Again, it failed to see what happened. Okay, change is not reflecting. Oh, my bad. I didn't commit that. Commit. Trigger and wait. This time it worked. Okay. So to test it, uh, let's go to a public IP of dev server. 8080 slash we have given some image name I mean go to docker file see inside web apps this is our war file name sorry it's not image name war file name yes we are getting response from the application we deployed. I want to slightly make changes to the code and show you how to redeploy it. So go to web app index.jsp. So edit. So Okay, I'm slightly changing my uh, output commit. It's done. Now build again. Let's wait for this job to complete. Job completed successfully. Let's refresh. Yes, we see the changes uh, we made are reflecting. That's all from this video guys. Thanks for watching.